in this video we will go through the implicit differentiation which is section 9.8 of chapter 9 pure mathematics 2 okay in some cases, in most of the cases previously, we had either y in terms of x, y equals to f of x, or x in terms of y, which we could easily differentiate them, okay? However, in implicit differentiation or implicit differentiation is uh, used for equations which we've got combination of x and y's together in an equation and we cannot rearrange this equation for or it is not easy to rearrange this sort of equations for either x or y for example x to the power of 3 plus y x plus y to the 3 plus 3 y equal to 6 it's not possible to rearrange this equation for y so that is when we're gonna to use uh, implicit differentiation what we mean by implicit differentiation since we're gonna to differentiate everything with respect to x here if i differentiate for example y to the power of n but with respect to x i would say n times y to the power of n minus one but since i'm differentiating with respect to x i have to write dy times by dy over dx we know that if it was x to the power of n, it would be n times x to the power of n minus 1. We didn't need dy over dx. Okay, so let's go through this example. It will, be, it will become more clear, hopefully. x to the power of 3, add x, add y to the power of 3, plus 3 y equal to 6. Differentiation of x to the 3 with respect to x is 3x squared plus Differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 plus differentiation of y to the power of 3. We differentiate y to the 3 as we do differentiate x to the 3, 3y squared. But since we're differentiating with respect to x, it says find dy over dx, then we have to put times by dy over dx plus 3 times y. We differentiate 3y now but with respect to x so differentiation of 3y is 3 but since it is with respect to x it would be 3 times dy over dx which is differentiation of 6 is equal to 0 okay so now let's factorize from dy over dx here and move everything else to the other side so you get dy over dx open bracket 3y squared add another 3 which is equal to minus 3x squared add 1. Therefore dy over dx is equal to minus open bracket 3 3x squared plus 1 over 3y squared plus 3 minus 3x squared add 1 open bracket here yeah, 3 y squared add 1 okay so here is dy over dx equal to minus 3x squared plus 1 over 3 open bracket y squared plus 1 the next question given that 4x y squared plus 6x squared over y equals to 10 find the value of dy over dx when uh, at point one and one okay so what we need to do here is a bit different with the previous one in previous equation we didn't have x times by y or x y squared they were separate terms x to the power of three plus y to the power of three and so on we didn't have x and y next to each other as a one term so we're gonna to use if f of x equals to uv, this is the product rule, f prime of x is equal to u prime v plus u v prime. Okay. Or if f of x is equal to u divided by v, f prime of x is equal to 
u prime v minus u v prime over v squared. Right, so, so let's just start with the first one. 4x y squared plus 6x squared over y equals to 10. So we should identify which is, we should choose u and v as, let's say this is u, and this is v. And similarly, this one is u, and this one is v. Okay, so let's apply the product rule for first one and the quotient rule for the second one. All right, the first one, differentiation of u prime v, which becomes four times y squared, differentiation of 4x is 4 times y y squared, we differentiate u and right hand v as it is, plus u times, which is 4x times, differentiation of y squared, which is 2y, then times by dy over dx, because we differentiated y squared with respect to x plus. Now, 6x squared over y. So, 6x squared over y, we can use the quotient rule for this. Differentiation of u is 12x times by y, okay, minus 6x x squared times by differentiation of y, which is 1, okay, dy over dx, since we differentiate with respect to x over y squared, equals to differentiation of 10 is 0. Now, all we need just Either you can simplify, or you can just substitute the values in, okay? So let's simplify a little bit further and then sub the values in. So 4y squared plus 8xy dy over dx plus 12xy over y squared, which is 12x over y minus. 6x squared dy over dx over y squared, which is 6x squared over y squared dy over dx equals to 0. Okay, so now let's sub the values in, 1 and 1. So if I stop 1 and 1, I get 4, 1 squared plus 8 times 1 times 1 dy over dx plus 12 times by 1 over 1 minus 6, 1 squared over 1 squared dy over dx equal to 0. Okay, which becomes 4 plus 8 dy over dx plus 12 minus 6 dy over dx equals to 0. 8 dy over dx, okay, 4 plus 12 is 16. I move minus 16 to the other side. So 16 becomes minus 16. 8 minus 6, 8 d by over dx minus 6 d by over dx is 2 d by over dx. Therefore, d by over dx is equal to minus 2. Okay. Now let's move on to the last question. 
This is example 25. Okay, it says, find the value of dy over dx at the point e to the power of 2x ln y equals x plus y minus 2. So, e to the 2x ln y equals x plus y minus 2. e to the 2x ln y. So we don't have to use product rule again. However, chain rule could be used for e to the power of 2x, but we are not going to use that because it's quite easy to differentiate e to the 2x now for you guys because you've done the, you practice the chain rule for many times. Okay. If this is u and this is v, u dash v, which is e to the power of 2x differentiate to 2 e to the 2x times by ln y add e to the 2x ln y differentiation of ln x. Okay, let's write down the formula here. However, you should know this formula from previous lessons. y is equal to ln x, then dy over dx is 1 over x. Okay. Differentiation of ln y, it is 1 over y, but since you, res uh, you differentiate with respect to x, then it becomes times by dy over dx. Equals, the differentiation of x is 1, plus differentiation of y is 1, but with respect to x is dy over dx, minus 2. Differentiation of minus 2 is 0. Therefore, we get 2 e to the 2x ln y plus e to the 2x over y dy over dx equals to 1 plus another dy over dx. We need to sub 1 and 1 to this equation, okay? So, it becomes 2 e to the 2 times 1, ln 1 plus e to the 2 times 1 over 1, dy over dx equals to 1 plus dy over dx. So, ln 1 is equal to 0, therefore all of this turns into 0. 0 plus e to the 2 over 1, which is e to the 2, dy over dx equals 1 plus dy over dx. Okay, let's take all the dy over dx to one side. Okay, so it becomes e to the 2 dy over dx minus dy over dx equals 1 equals 1. Factorize from dy over dx, you get dy over dx, open bracket, e squared minus 1, not equal, sorry, open bracket, dy over dx, open bracket, e squared minus 1 equals 1, and finally rearranging this one for dy over dx, we get 1 over e squared minus 1. Okay, end of the lesson here. And you should be able to do exercise 9H from the textbook, which is page 225. Okay, so the next lesson will be on statistics 1, and it will be on macrostatics. Okay.